This was an easy process. If this is keeping you from doing sublimation, I recommend that you just go ahead, get you an Epson printer. It's so easy. I'm Brandy, and this is Making It My Own DIYs. Y'all, today we are going to be converting this Epson printer to a sublimation printer. I'm so excited. Keep watching. So you know I've worked with a company called Hippo before. The water slide paper, the transfer paper that I've used before in other videos. Well this time I talked to my good friend over there at Hippo and he offered me the opportunity to try some new items. So I got this sublimation ink and there are four bottles in here and a package of sublimation paper. There are 110 sheets of paper in here. This is gonna get a lot of practice and a lot of projects. So in order to do sublimation, you have to have a couple of things. You have to have a press, you have to have a printer that will allow you to do sublimation. Now, one of the things about sublimation that I have seen is that the printers that are made specifically for that are very pricey, very expensive. But there are a few machines that you can get, mainly Epson from my research that I've seen, that give you a fantastic quality. They do a great job. And this is a new machine that I'm very excited about trying. My press is also new. So they're the handheld presses that you use that you can get from Cricut and you can get other brands on Amazon as well. And there's just the kind that it's like an iron and you just press it down and you hold it in place. That'll do your transfers. Or you can get the type that's larger, like the type that I have now, which is new. We'll be trying that later too. And that one is bigger. It's like a t-shirt press. They do cost a bit more, but as the couple of years have gone by, the prices have started to become more affordable. But today, we're going to be transforming this beautiful little Epson Eco Tank from a regular color printer to a sublimation printer. If you're interested in learning, keep watching! To start off, we need to gather our supplies and unbox our machine. We're going to put that cord aside. And then there's the software and also the ink that comes with the machine. You're going to need to take all of your tape off the machine. And believe me, there's some tape hidden in some little spots that you wouldn't think they were. But I do find them in the end. I'm going to go under the bottom in the paper tray and just gently remove that. There's some holding it in and then there's some holding down the little extra piece there. Take all that off. It's very well secured in its box. This is where we put the ink. You can get a closer look down where the ink cartridges are going to be going. Right here. Very easy to open and close. So continuing to look, we have the four different tanks for the different colors that will go in. Here is the paper tray. Back here is where you're going to load your paper. Oh, look at there. There's a piece of hidden tape. Take that off. And there's a scanner. Look at that. A little surprise there. Okay, so here is our sublimation ink. It comes in this black box. You're gonna open that up and it is very nicely and securely sealed in this vacuum packaging. It also has a pair of gloves that you can use. I'm going to release the seal and take these bottles out. Now a warning that they do say is to keep these away from children because they do look a little bit like drink bottles and you do not want your children anywhere near this. Okay, so we have a black and this is 100 mils. You also get a yellow, magenta, and cyan. We're going to install our sublimation ink in the printer now. So you just unscrew the lid very simply. On the top there's a little hole and you flip it over and press it down. You don't have to shake it or thump it. Listen to it. You can hear it filling up the tank. So after you've done the black, close that little chamber off and then do your yellow. You fill that one up. I've gone ahead and just done this in fast motion so you can see this is five times the speed. It really doesn't take long at all to do this. You're going to fill it up to that top line. 
And the next one going in is our magenta. This works so easy. And don't worry, I haven't had any dripping. No dripping from the bottle. There's like a little seal that's only punctured once you put it upside down into the tank. Now you can attach your power cord. It's gonna be on the back there and you can go ahead and plug it in. Turn your machine on and your screen is going to light up. You're gonna follow your instructions here and it'll walk you through exactly what you need to do to charge the ink in the machine. So easy. This process takes about 11 minutes, it says on their paperwork. I found that to be pretty accurate. So after you've done that, now you can go ahead and top off your tanks. So you're gonna take the same bottles in the same spots and fill your tanks back to the line. We're gonna put our paper in the back and follow the printer instructions for the best quality printing. This is a pretty quick process. If you have any problems, it tells you to run it again. All right, so you just check that, make sure everything is good. And then you're going to make sure that your print heads are aligned. And you're gonna to have to put another piece of paper in the back for that. Print that out and just follow the instructions. Now's the fun part. You get to choose your design. You can go on Pinterest and look for free printables. I have a bunch on my um, Pinterest as well if you want to check those out. So I've chosen mine and now we're going to reverse or flip the image. I'm going to choose which printer because I have several. And you can hear it working its magic. There it goes. You'll find the links to the products that I use and show you in the description box below. And Hippo has a giveaway series going on right now over on their website. I'm going to put the links below so that you can check that out. I have to say I am pleasantly surprised. The setup was very easy. I'm not the best with technical stuff, so the fact that I could actually set this printer up by myself was pretty impressive. I did have some issues with my Wi-Fi. So we just went ahead and used the USB cord, plugged it in the computer, perfectly started, everything went completely fine. So I used it, I did a little test run, and I got my print out here. It is on my sublimation paper, and you will very soon see me use this project probably on a shirt. Something that you didn't see me do when I was recording was on the computer actually remembering to reverse that image. You have to reverse the image when you are doing sublimation print. So be sure that you do that. Also, this printed very quickly. I have another printer that is an inkjet printer that doesn't print nearly as fast as this one did. So that's a plus too. The ink was very easy to deal with. I wore the gloves that they provided, but I really didn't need them. They didn't leak or drip anywhere. In fact, when I refilled and topped off my tanks, I just did it with my bare hands and I didn't get any on my fingers at all. There was no leaking from the bottle and there is still liquid in the bottle. So the tanks are full, it's been primed, and I still have extra ink in these bottles. So that's impressive. I can't wait to start all my projects and show you how to use the press and all of that. I'm really curious to see how rich the ink is. It's kind of dark gray, but it's actually black. So we'll see when I put it on whatever I put it on, how it turns out. So be sure that you subscribe so that you can see more of what we're going to do with the sublimation. My links will be down below for Hippo for their website. I'll have links for the sublimation paper and for the ink. I'll also link this Epson printer for you. This is the Epson ET2803. It does work with Wi-Fi or with a USB cord. So whichever way you choose to use it, I appreciate you watching. Thank you for stopping by and I'll see you again soon. Bye.